your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia. Claudia, based on the original stories by Rose Franken. Brought to you, transcribed, Monday through Friday, by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. There's Mama. Mama, is that you? Good morning. Good morning, and Merry Christmas, children. Hello, Mother. It's about time you got here, Mama. Did I miss anything? Nothing. What's there to miss? Except we missed you. Come on in, Grandma, and take a deep chair. I'm about to baptize the fireplace. <laughs> Say, darling, I thought you went to get my pipe. <gasps> so I did. Here it is, you silly old broken-down pipe. Right in my pocket. <laughs> Say, darling, this isn't my pipe. Isn't it? No, I haven't got a pipe like this. You haven't? It's... This is a new pipe. Really? Why don't you smoke it anyway? Nobody will know. Go on, smoke it. Come over here, darling. What is it? All right. I'll come to you. I, I'm right here. This is a very handsome pipe. It's a wonderful straight grain. It's, it's perfectly shaped. It is? This is a pipe I would have bought for myself. I, I hope you don't mind getting a Christmas present. But your old pipe was broken and... and... <laughs> mind getting a Christmas present of a pipe like this? What do you think I am? Darling, would you mind very much closing your eyes? Both of them. Tight now. Mm. Now. Now open your hands. Not your eyes, darling. Your hands. That's right. Merry Christmas. Now open. David, it's a pearl. Mama, look. Oh, Claudia, it's lovely. But it's only one, darling. Only one, David. What would I do with more than one pearl? Oh, it's so beautiful, so glowing and pure on its slender little platinum chain. It's the first of a long string, darling. A pearl to remember. To remember very important moments with. I don't need anything to remember with, David. Oh, David. Darling, this is the most beautiful, the second most beautiful present I ever got. What's the first? You, David. Hmm? What about Mama? What about me? Oh, Mama. Oh, of course, Mama. Now, if you two have gone out and done something silly... I don't want it in. I've told you that a hundred times. She's not a very noticing person, David. Show him to her? Him? He's sitting right over there behind your left shoulder. Who is? Good heaven. Isn't he handsome, Mama? Oh. But he looks to me as if he had indigestion. Oh, poor Solomon. Solomon? Solomon. Lovely name, isn't it? You mean to tell me he's been sitting here all this time? Isn't he very quiet? Very. But he'll talk soon. He's a very rare old duck. I mean, parrot. <laughs> Years older than you are, Mother. Well, he must be ancient. He is. David and I thought he'd be nice company for you, now that I'm married and everything. And don't you like him, Mama, just a little bit? I love him. He looks so serious. Don't you wink at me, Solomon. Come on, now, say something. Now for this fire I've been trying to light all morning. There. Oh. There, how's that? I make a good fire, one of my hidden talents. Here, darling, put your head in my knees. Comfortable? It's a good heavy snow. The city will be all white tonight. Christmas night. David? Mm. What are you thinking about? I love you. I love you too, darling. That's good. Uh, uh, I love you. I love you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. First time since we got him. He must know it's Christmas. Of course he knows. Any bird of mine would know. Any bird of hers. Listen to her, will you? Mama, 
David, why are you suddenly so quiet? Even the shovels have stopped crunching. It's as if all the people in the whole world were waiting for something. They are. They're waiting for a world that's complete in this room. A world that's a crackling fire in the hearth. A turkey simmering in the stove. Sun squinting through the snow. And a jungle bird that knows it's Christmas. Well, I didn't know I was that going was to That was very make nice, it. Mother. Don't you be embarrassed. David, it would be awful if I left you and Mama for a minute. Where are you going? I'd like to go downstairs and wish Bertha and Fritz and Lisa and their little grandchild Merry Christmas. I'll come with you. Mama, you want to come too? No, so you children go right ahead. I'll stay up here and watch the fire. All by yourself? What do you mean all by myself? Solomon and I are going to get acquainted. David, let's go, darling. <laughs> You don't think we'll be interrupting, do you? I, I just think so. felt I had to wish them. I know. They're such wonderful people. It's just us. Ah, Mrs. Norton, I was just coming upstairs. Your present is so lovely. Not half of what we'd have liked to have given you, Bertha. We just came down to wish you Merry Mary. Christmas, Bertha. You too, Fritz. Merry Christmas to you both. <laughs> and my hands are wet with snow. Ever come in, please come in. Thank you. <laughs> we heard you from way upstairs shoveling away, Fritz. Yeah, snow is beautiful, but not where people can slip on it. How's the baby? Could I see him? He's no longer here. Lisa and the baby. Uh, Lisa's uh, husband, he was supposed to come that when he became sick and Lisa had to go to him. Then there in Maryland and... You're here alone. Yeah, yesterday afternoon. Oh, David, isn't that awful? Just think this was to be their first Christmas all together. Uh, couldn't you have gone along, uh, Fritz, you and Bertha? It wasn't possible. Fritz had to be here to take care of the house. Take care of the... Do uh, I look strong enough? <laughs> you are very strong. Claudia, uh, tell the man what a responsible fellow I am. You mean you... Really, Fritz, he is very... I don't know. I do not understand. Uh, you think you could trust me, Fritz? Uh, what is that? Fritz, would you and Bertha do something for me? For anything, yes, that we can do. Then put on your best hats and your best coats and rush right over to the station and grab the next train for Maryland. I cannot. Fritz, now you leave everything to me. Tell the eleva elevator boy, if anything goes wrong, just call me. And I'll be home all day, and then I and, can... And, and when evening comes and the snow's heavy, Mr. Norton and I will shovel it away. You mean that... Oh, I, I cannot accept. No, I cannot... Yes, you can, Fritz. I wish you would. You'd be giving us a great gift. Don't even bother asking him, Claudia. It's all saddled, isn't it, Bertha? What do you think, Bertha? I think such a wonderful Christmas I never had. But since Mr. and Mrs. Norton came to live here, the year... It has many Christmases. There. How does that look? Wonderful. This side's almost finished. Can't I help? You cannot. Are you warm enough, darling? My toast. You, Mama? I feel marvelous. Never felt so marvelous. Must be the air. It's more than the air. What do you mean? Oh, it's Fritz and Bertha being in Maryland for their grandchild. It's a funny thing to say. They're in Maryland. We're in New York. I don't see how it could That possibly... child of yours, Mother. But I wouldn't want her any different. When she does something nice, she doesn't even know she's done it. Darling, you're the nicest kind of giver. I am? Oh, you and Mama, you're always talking riddles. I haven't given anyone anything. You won't even let me do the shoveling. Look, Mama, you can see the stars through the falling snow. It's almost a miracle. When I was a little girl, I thought each star was an angel. But don't you still? Of course I do. Don't you? Tonight. Good evening, Fritz. Oh, Hello. I'm not Fritz, though. Oh, excuse me. I thought that... 
The shoveling, you know. Mm, perfectly all right. Fritz and Bertha went to visit their grandchild. Oh, that's good news. And you're giving him a hand to keep things going while he's away. It's not doing very much, but... Christmas spirit, huh? If you want to give it a name, I guess that's as good as any. It's a beautiful night. Yes, it is. A night for saying prayers. Listen to the bells. Yes. Listen to the bells. Christmas night is almost over. Oh, I wish it could last forever. Maybe someday it will. Maybe someday soon. Oh, by the way, my name is Norton, and this is my wife and her mother, Mrs. Brown. We're we're in 12C. I'm Josephson. I live upstairs, too, with my father. So there are three of you. On another night, there were three. They searched for the way of peace in a troubled world. And they found that in giving is the true happiness and the true brotherhood of man. I'd be happy if you'd let me help for Fritz. Well, thank you. I'd be glad to have your help. Thank you. For to those who help, there is the richest reward. David, have you ever seen him before? No, as, as a matter of fact, I could hardly see his face in the dark. But his voice. You feel as if you've heard it someplace. It's a good voice. I'm sure his face must be, too. Well, I'll be done in a minute. I just want to get the other side of the entry shoveled, and then we'll go upstairs. And dream by the fire. Mm. David, you're done now. Mm. Sidewalk is all cleaned of snow, as far as I can see. And the man is gone. What did he say his name was? Josephson. Joseph's son. It's funny, isn't it? It's almost as if... Yes, darling. It's almost as if... Mmm. 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 The whole world should be singing tonight. Let's sing, darling. Maybe it'll join in. Round yon virgin mother and child Holy infant so tender and mild Sleep Merry Christmas to you and your family from your Coca-Cola bottler and the cast of Claudia. On this day, which is dedicated to the idea of peace on earth, we hope, as you do, that goodwill prevails among all mankind. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir and remember. Whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For ice-cold Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes.